I'm here with Jane Bryant Quinn, legendary personal finance expert and best-selling author. We're here to talk about her latest book, How to Make Your Money Last, The Indispensable Retirement Guide. In your book, you talk about the importance of picking the right withdrawal rate from your savings. Can you explain what that means? Right. Oh, by withdrawal, I mean the amount of money that you are going to be taking out of your savings every year in order to pay your bills. And you want your money to last for life and you don't know how long you're going to live. And the 4% is the standard, but I want to explain what this means. Mm -hmm. Because some people think that means I can take 4% of my savings every year. That is not true. The gold standard says 4% out of your savings and investments the first year you retire. In each subsequent year, you take the same amount of money plus an increment for inflation. And it keeps on going like that. So the 4% number just really applies to your first year. Now, if you have well-diversified investments, then 4.5% is a, a gold standard. That's something I'm looking at for myself. What about, have you seen any trends in how much people spend in retirement in the initial stages versus later on? Uh, often, people spend more when they're younger, so they might say, I have a 4.5% plan, but I'm going to take something extra. But if you do that, you do have to be aware that at some point in the future, you may have to cut back. I should say one more thing, by the way, on this uh, withdrawal rate. It requires that you make a commitment to stocks of at least 35%, say. Uh, and I don't mean individual stocks. When I say this, I always mean stock owning mutual funds, preferably index mutual funds. Low cost. That's low cost. That's the way it works if you want to make these 4.5% 4, 4 withdrawal plans work. If you are allergic to stocks, if you won't buy any, if you're going to be just CDs and bonds and that's that, then you're at 2.5% because you're not going to get a lifetime 30 years worth of growth out of just bonds and CDs. Great advice. Thank you, Jane.